Hello, I'm George Maschke with antipolygraph.org, and before I begin, I'd like to assure you that this is not from The Onion, and I'm not making it up. United Press International Homeland and National Security Editor Sean Waterman reports that the Department of Homeland Security is funding a study to determine whether human body odors can be used to determine whether or not a person is lying. Really, they think that maybe people emit distinctive smells when they lie. The Department of Homeland Security wants to see whether people have odor fingerprints that could be used to identify them. Will the future see government officials sniffing people to see if they smell like terrorists? Hmm, are you sure you're not Osama bin Laden? Sure do smell like him. You don't need the olfactory acuity of a bloodhound to realize that this research project doesn't pass the sniff test. Indeed, it seems as if someone at the Department of Homeland Security has been sniffing glue. The old East German secret police, the Stasi, had similar ideas about identifying people through their odors, and they maintained a vast odor register of dissidents. It was an asinine idea then, and it's an asinine idea now. Security officials need to stop buying magic beans and discard the kind of magical thinking that brought us the polygraph, and now, the smellograph. Antipolygraph.org supports sound scientific research, but on its face, this smellograph program is a colossal waste of taxpayer money, and it suggests that the Department of Homeland Security needs to have its budget trimmed. Thank you for your time. For more about this story, see the information links associated with this YouTube video and visit antipolygraph.org.